abstract at it again um i thought i'd give you guys a little update on how things are going it has not been a good day um i should probably tripod this while i'm doing some free talking you guys don't want to see a bunch of shakiness i'll pop it off when i uh Okay, so yeah, um, today is not going good. Um, I thought I was getting the rest of the supplies today, but uh, my order from a third party seller on Newegg for a power supply still hasn't shipped. But inconveniently, he created a shipping label, so. To return it, I have to ship back what I don't have. That also means all these other parts are untestable. Um, and by the time I can test them, it's probably going to be too late to do anything about it. <sighs> Top of that, there's medication problems with the doctor, but we don't need to get into that here. Um... This third problem is uh, really why I thought I'd do this video. So my plan, as I mentioned in a previous vid, is... Sorry, that's under the tripod stand. To have an exhaust flap on here that opens up like this and has a screen right, right on this. They, obviously, that's going to be the metal piece after I cut it out. Um, this is upside down. Um, you can kind of consider this the exhaust screen. There's going to be a screen on the exhaust cutout and a screen on the intake cutout. Um, mostly because I accidentally ordered two screens, but partly because I think it'll look really cool when it's done. Now that I did accidentally order two screens. Anyway, now I have to um, cut the parts out of this metal. And my plan is to use the thinnest Dremel blade I can and to just go nice and slow at it. Um, I thought about a chisel, but I think that will bend things too much. There is going to be some metal loss with the blade, but I'm going to try to go in kind of at a 45. Um, so like if you imagine this is the blade of the hacksaw or the, the Dremel here, instead of going like this, we're going to come in and try to come in from the side kind of like that. And maybe with that technique and some um, banging around of this piece with a hammer after we're done, I'm hoping we could get this to set into its own hole instead of falling through. Um, if not, we'll just have to figure out. Uh, either way, I think I want to cover the whole thing with leather or something. Um, put a, a snap down here somewhere um and obviously hinges um up in this area so the the flap can open and then, man i'm the best at rambling on uh, tangents but i finally the point of the video this is harder than it, i i thought it would be um I tried that cut out, tried scribing a line around it. Um, I just held it in place with my hand. I was really frustrated. Maybe if I would have taped it down or, or had a second guy, it would have come out better. But uh, as you can see, if you look close enough here, it's 
especially like in these spots here. Um, I have more than one scribe line. Um, and the thing is off center a bit, but the way it's off center, because the motherboard's going to be sitting on this side, um, the way it's off center works. I, I would want the, that's going to be more towards the center of the GPU fans being off center on the case. So I, I'm not going to claim I did it on purpose, but I'm happy to live with it being off center a little bit. Um, the, the top's a different story. I want to, I want to get that one right. Um, anyway, I'm sure there's better techniques to do this. Um, Maybe if I want to use cardboard, I, maybe I should have moved to a wood cutout. That would have uh, been really nice. But then, then it wouldn't bend. the nice thing about the cardboard is it bends up against it. So like... I don't know, I'm rambling. It's been a really, really bad day. Um, but anyway... The point of this, if any of you have better ways to do this, put it in the comments. And for any of you attempting to do some metal work of your own, just know that scribing the line is a little more difficult than I anticipated. Um, my plan is to follow the best line, make it as deep as I can, and then I'm going to sand away until the other lines go away. And then I'm going to make my cut. Um, anyway, yeah, that's all I had to say. Um, bad day in the... Uh, I need a name for this makerspace. Something that starts with an A would be nice. Like, uh, the abstraction attic, even though it's not an attic. Kind of describes how small it is. The abstraction area. Too general. I think I like the abstraction attic. Uh, yep, so it's been a bad day in the abstraction attic today, guys. Um, I hope yours is better. Abstract out.